And we're going to talk about uh, protanum nerve 2 up update and oxidative stress and other types of uh, factors that have to do with acne. Now, we've talked before earlier about serious diseases like diabetes and cancer and other type of things, which terrible. Acne, it's not that bad. Well, unfortunately, in the last couple of years, uh, in psychiatric journals, medical journals, drug journals, they've come out that, yeah, Having acne has a lot of psychological problems. When you're young and even when you get older, your appearance is who you are. And so that, they've actually done studies of depression, attempted suicide, suicides increase as the acne becomes worse. And so for individuals, this is a big deal. And so there's wonderful ways in my practice to be able to kind of deal with that. Well, in, t in terms of basically what the medical profession is, they use wonderful things like Accutane. Uh, let's see here, uh, let's see. Accutane harms your liver, increases your cholesterol. Oh, that's nice. That's good stuff. Archives of Dermatology. Oh, that's right. That's a drug journal. How come your drug doctor is giving your, your children, who are a scan we'll talk about here, causes birth defects, this kind of garbage? How about this one? Accutane increases irritable bowel syndrome. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's right. You make more money. You give them the, the acne, and you make another $40,000 on ripping out their intestines and giving them garbage that doesn't work. Uh, check out my YouTube on IBS, 70%, uh, 100% improved it within a month or two. Yeah, go talk to your GI specialist on that one. American Journal of uh, uh, GI, July 2006. Here's my favorite. Nice little picture. Oh, let's have, let's have some fun birth defects like that. Yeah, that's right. Accutane should never, that's what's in a black box, be never used with a prick woman that can have a baby. So that means any, any woman from, well, that's not a woman, young girl from age probably age eight up to about 45, should never use Accutane because they have the potential of having babies. And this is the crap that's out there and, oh, that's okay because I'm a drug doctor. Uh, well, then that's fine. They should have a little disclaimer. Yeah, you create this, this birth defect. You help me pay for this for life. You know how soon that would stop? Like that. But since it's with no responsibility. So what do you do for it instead? Well, I mean, uh, there's lots of different compounds. So once again, we go back to natural things. We use five herbs that have been used for only three or four thousand years. Drugs are usually used, only used for about uh, t ten or twenty years until they find out they kill people and then take them off the market. So we've stressed a lot in terms of using protandum, which is this natural type of content with lots of science. Our, uh, the, the founder uh, who put this formula together is the, this co-discoverer of SOD, a very, very strong uh, enzyme that creates uh, this SOD, which neutralizes free radicals. So, we, once again, I'm Dr. Noah. I do the science. And once again, we don't just talk about, you know, well, you know, put some, you know, some, some lard on your face and twirl your head around three times. Oh, that's right. That's drug doctors. That's what they do. No, we talk about real science here. So, in this publication, uh, let's see, Lipids in Health and Disease, 2000. Uh, clinical implications of lipid peroxide, that's oxidative stress, and acne. Okay, so what do drug doctors think about this? Because that's the other kind of ha 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 ha. Oh, eating and all that stuff has nothing to do with acne. You know, you have to be, you have a drug deficiency. You need to have something that causes all the problems and birth effects so I can make lots of money so that your face is nice and clean. Well, that's, that doesn't work. So what do real scientists says? Not just the drug doctor says. Uh, says uh, that antioxidant stress is a uh, basic problem. Uh, uh, acne vulgaris, which is a kind, is a common dermatological disorder that is frequently associated with depression, anxiety, and other psychological problems. So this is a, this goes beyond just the physical type of thing. Uh, in this uh, particular type of thing, lipid peroxides are the primary uh, factor in terms of acne. Recent findings also suggest potential avenues of approach to treatment of acne using nutrients, oh, no drugs, sorry about that, dietary modification, oh, well my dermatologist says, well guess what, they must not know what they're talking about, and, to and topical uh, interventions there, so once again, the science knows this. Next journal from, only comes from India, because maybe they're not bought out as much as here, Journal of Dermatology, but it's a published peer-reviewed scientific article here, uh, oxidative or antioxidant status in females with acne vulgaris, and their conclusion was that nutritional factors, oh, Dr. Noah, my dermatologist says nutrition has nothing to do with this. Well, once again, quack, 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 uh, because this is science. So you ask your quack dermatologist, you know, where this information comes from. Well, it comes from because they don't want you to use something natural because you won't spend $300 a visit and a couple hundred dollars for the stuff that causes birth defects, liver problems, 
cholesterol problems. I could just go on and on and on. That makes him or her happy? Oh, man, that's nice. Uh, they must have been in World War II working for the other side or something. Uh, so uh, the, the, the quotation here is the nutritional factors in a weakened antioxidant defense system uh, increases the risk of psychological uh, problems and helps in re reverse acne vulgaris. Another article here, Mediators of Inflammation. Oh, I hate that science. So when you go see your drug doctor, just go tell them, watch Dr. Noah, go, oh, get off their butt and get on, look on PubMed, read the real science instead of what the drug reps go. See, that's an info commercial. Uh, we, and from New Jersey, we, that's like having the mob protect you. They don't protect you. They're, they're basically criminals. Oxidative stress in, in patients with uh, acne vulgaris again. And what was interesting here, the parameters of doing this study was oxidative stress using and looking at catalase, which we'll talk about here in a second, superoxide dismutase, we already talked about how Dr. McCord found that, said that patients were found to be, once again, statistically decreased in these antioxidant gene type factors like that. It, it will be useful to apply at least one antioxidant feature uh, feature along with combined acne treatment. So, I mean, once again, even if you go with the drug doctors, and there's, once again, so many other better ways to do it, not causing birth, birth effects and killing people, but even if you did that, that's what the science says, the drug doctors say. So, be happy, have nice, clear skin, talk to you soon. Thanks.